Hi everyone. Uh, today we're gonna do a clay tutorial. Uh, <clears throat> I was gonna do something a little more intricate than what I'm doing right now, but I've lost three or four of my sharp cutting tools, which I just bought. Um, I've been working on my little studio and I don't know what I did with them. So anyway, I'm using Primo today. I'm using this turquoise Primo and some black. So I've already rolled it through the pasta machine. If you don't have a pasta machine, you can do it, use one of these little rollers like this. But we're not use, needing this flat right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix these two colors together it's about three quarters turquoise to one quarter black. Get all those little pieces up. Okay. That's, you don't want to mix it too much. You just want to have it look a little variegated. Now I'm going to put it through the pasta machine. I'm going to flatten it a little bit to help me get it through. Alright. So I'm rolling it through on number one. It's kind of tough. Phew, it wouldn't be that tough if uh, it wasn't so thick. Okay, so this will be easier. I'm going to roll it through again. And we'll do it one more time. Just fold it in half and roll it through your pasta machine. Okay. So I'm going to look at both sides, and this definitely has more appeal. So I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to use this cookie cutter, so I have to make sure it's the right size. And I need to kind of roll it out a little bit more. You can see I have accidentally have some gold foil on my roller. I'm sure by now you know I'm I should call this channel the messy art channel because I am messy. Okay. So let's see if that's Nope, we're not happy. Let's roll it through one more time. Oh, pretty. Okay. And then we'll try and str what I'm trying to do is I'll stretch it out a little. So that it's double layer on both sides. When I use the cookie cutter, it'll. You can. Um, we collect crosses, so. And most of my crosses are turquoise or teal. So. You can use this as a wall hanging or. Okay. Uh, I'm satisfied with that. Next, I'm going to take this Macon's Clay Texture Plate. I picked out the one with the swirls. I love those swirls. I'm gonna put it down and just gonna I'm not even rolling it, I'm just pushing it back and forth to get those swirls inside the clay. And peel it away. Okay. Then I'm going to take little pieces 
of my foil. Oh, gotta do this first. I like to use a little bit of, whoa, I just squirted this on my chest. Okay, I like to use a little bit of this bakeable transfer color medium. This helps, helps the foil and then spread it around. And then you can start putting your little pieces of foil down. Okay, sorry about that. Mm, just gonna put a couple more little pieces on. I bought this gold leaf, whatever, on Amazon. I got a lot for about 10 bucks, but there are nicer brands I'm, I've used better, but it, it still has a nice effect when it bakes. And then you're going to take your roller again and just roll it through a little bit. Okay, and then one more time with your... And this time I'm just pushing it in because I have the that medium on that I use, this bakeable medium. Okay, just smooth that around. Peel it off. Then I'm going to take my cookie cutter and find a good spot to cut it. That actually looks like a dent, but it's not. It's just the black clay. So I think I'm going to add a little piece of gold over here. See how if you use your finger, it you can spread it around. It kind of breaks it up a little, which is what I like. And then being that it's a cross, I put a little bit up on top. Okay. Now I'm going to press down on my cookie cutter, make sure all my, all the edges are in, so, and then you can just peel it, the other clay away, and you can actually make another cross. Maybe I can do another one real quick. And lift this up gently. My neighbors must have lost their dog because I can hear them yelling for it. I live out in the country. We just moved here a year ago from the city to the country. And a lot of animals run free. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take this tool. See? My messy tool. I'm going to use the bigger end. I'm going to push a hole through it and that's where when after it bakes I can slip a little thread or yarn or something into it and then my final little touch is a little bit of this um, this is called Finna Bear and it's a metallic powder Be careful because okay I'll put a little right there and all I'm gonna do is put my finger in it and just put uh, little dashes here and there just to add to the beauty of my cross And 
I'm going to bake this at 265 for about 25 to 30 minutes. When it's finished, I will show you how beautiful it looks hanging on the wall. Now, since I have some of this clay left over, we're going to uh, take this gold foil, gold leaf, and I don't care. I'm just going to smoosh it right in there. Roll it around good. I'm going to roll it through my pasta machine. A couple more times. Oh man, I need to work on my muscles. Okay. Still needs a little work, but what I'm going to do is fold it and use this little roller. I have to wipe it off because. It's got that baking medium on it. We don't need any more of that. So, I'm going to roll this out. Try to keep your pressure about the same so that it's the same thickness throughout. Because this is a cross hanging on the wall. And it's not a piece of jewelry. You can be a little carefree about it. All right. One more little roll. I'm going to make a smaller cross. So let's make sure this works. Yep. I'm going to take a different texture sheet. All right, and press it down. Cross in, push down evenly, tear away the edges, and take it out. Okay, this one is a tad dull compared to the other one, so I'm going to use metallic powder again. Only this time I'm using kind of a, a little bit of turquoise. Okay, as you can see, when you push down on this clay, what does this do? It leaves little marks. So, best to use your finger. And there's a little um, spot here that's kind of rough, so you just smooth it out. And if you want, you can add your texture sheet one more time. See, you, when you put it on after you cut it out, you got to be careful. You don't want to uh, misshape it. Okay, there we go. We add our little hole. And now we have two crosses. So we have our smaller cross. 
and our bigger cross. I think they're beautiful. I'm very happy the way they look. And because I have some more clay left over, we'll just make a quick bookmark. You can uh, hang your crosses on the wall and uh, use your bookmark in your Bible. So now um, we're going to just flatten this out. You can flatten it out in the pasta machine or like this. It's got a, a little bit of that stuff still on it, the baking medium. It's a little sticky. Now, uh, depending on, you know, bookmarks are usually made out of paper, so they're not thick. So I'm trying to roll this out as thinly as I can. Do one run through the pasta machine. All right, probably get two out of that. Um, let's put a texture sheet on it again. I have this little ruler it's seven inches I'm going to just cut around it and I have to use an exacto knife because I told you I can't find my blades but this will do it now I'm not making this seven it's just this is what the size of this ruler is okay Let's cut it about right here and about here. Cut right through that paper. My um, cutting was a little off, but Let's just make the edge a little nicer. Smooth it with your finger. Put a little hole on top. Some color, uh, the metallic color. I'm doing both white and turquoise. Oh, I know. I have some pink. Let's try some pink. A little bit of this goes a long way. And once again, we will use our finger to smooth it in. <sighs> Sorry. All right, well, that'll just add to the beauty. It's kind of in the holes. All right, so all of these are going in the oven, and I'll be back. Okay, I baked these at 265 for about 25 minutes. Then I let them cool, and this is what they look like. Thanks for visiting my channel, and I plan on making more tutorials with polymer clay and acrylic painting so subscribe like and and come back and visit my channel again thank you